You can do your patching, can't you? You ready? Right. Welcome I'm not to. Ready yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You can't just start the in the middle of the thing. All right, do some work. Welcome to Scrap King Diaries. Today we're going to talk about catalytic converters. Um, we made an episode last year all about cats and um, we wanted to come back to that topic today because we know it's so like, ah, f what's the word? F no. Wanted? No. What word do you think you're trying to think of? Well, if I never knew it, no, what, what, what are you trying to describe? Um, ah, not versatile. Start again. The cats were quite a. Uh, ah, what the f is the word I'm looking for? It's like touchy subjects. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just googling it. Where's my thesaurus? Controversial. Yeah, that'll do. Controversial, that's the word, that'll do. We'll start again. Welcome to Scrap King Diaries. Today we're going to talk to you about catalytic converters. We made an episode about cats last year and it was such a controversial subject, everything regarding them, whether being stolen or weighed in. We got a lot of views and a lot of responses and today we wanted to go back to that and just basically give you guys an update and re-educate some of our new subscribers about what a cat is, how much they're worth, and what you guys can do to prevent yours being stolen. So now I'm gonna go inside and show you how to... Where's he gone? Ah, Will. Now we're gonna show you guys how catalytic converters work and why they are so important for your car. Ben. Over to Rich, full of information. <laughs> basically, the hot, toxic fumes of the car pass through the honeycomb, and then the, the three precious metals, which is platinum, rhodium, and palladium, act as catalysts to turn the nitrous dioxide into water and CO2. Well done. That's fantastic. Yep. Yep. And what year did cats come about in cars? 1986. <coughs> you want to check that? Nope. <laughs> and there's definitely reasons why there's three metals. Why? So, originally, pl uh, platinum is the best catalyst material. However, it was cutting into the profits of the cars too much. So then they came up with palladium, which works just as well, but it was cheaper. Then over the time, palladium had actually overtook platinum in the price, but it wouldn't be cost effective to go back to platinum for the majority of it, because they've already made the processes to use palladium instead of platinum. So it's cheaper to still carry on with the palladium. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just like a fax machine, aren't you? I am. Do you know what? I'm not just a pretty face. Carry the factoid. Imagine being this handsome and then this intelligent at the same time. Triple threat. I can sing as well. Hello, Dan. You're right. It's going. Sound like. It's going. So how do the toxic fumes of your car that's bad for the atmosphere pass through the cat to be less toxic for the atmosphere? Well, let's open this one and find out. <laughs> so here we have the honeycomb, is what we call it, inside of Catlin's But Here's a piece of it, there's a bit more over there, I'll get a, bit, I'll get a, bit, I'll get a bigger one. So this is heat resistant um, honeycomb basically, but inside this will be woven all of the platinum, rhodium and palladium that act as the catalyst to convert the fumes into less toxic fumes. As you can see, there is loads of holes that the gas, the hot gas gets forced through which reacts with the precious metals, and then they do their science thing, which I'm not going to try and explain, and then it comes out the other end as less toxic. Not completely untoxic, but less. <clears throat> now, de depending on what car you have, what engine it's got, and how powerful it is, the cats are graded and made differently to you know, react to whatever the engine is putting out. So some cars will have less, and some cars will have more precious metals in them, to catalyst the negative fumes that the car makes. Isn't that right, Rich? Yep, correct. Don't drop me in it like that. I'm going to, because I'm just talking. I feel like I'm waffling on then. You are. 
as you can see, it's shaped like this to maximise the surface. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? You imagine there's miles and miles of cats in there because of that. Miles and miles of what? Of cats in there. What kind of cat? Oh, just <laughs> oxide into water and CO2. So, the honeycomb out of your cat matches the crunchy chocolate bar honeycomb on the inside. For example, when. Whoa, Harry, stop talking rubbish. Just have the place on the phone. West Finland's police have just said since our last video, cat theft has gone down by 36%. That's fantastic. Because we have educated the country. There we go. Also, the sale of carjacks and grinders at Halfords has also gone down. So that's it, we're doing a good thing here. Yeah. Well, that is only positive news, and we are happy that we are educating the public so that you know, instead of letting your cat being stolen, you can bring it to us and sell it correctly, safely, and legally. For the best price. Send us a photo or the code and we'll price for you straight away. So, where do you go when you've got a cat to sell? We'll show you right now. Right, if you've got a cat and you want to sell it, you've got two options. Post it or deliver it. First of all though, you'll need a price. So what number do you phone or call, Harry? 07 496 303 439. Are you sure that's the number? 100%. Definitely. I don't know, I'm going to double check. <laughs> Send a photo of the cat and the code if you can, and we'll price it within 20 minutes to half an hour normally. Depends on how busy we are. WhatsApp, all of your pictures, all of the codes, straight to the number below, and the lads in our office that have the most high-tech and sophisticated cast to converter pricing system will get back to you instantly. Well, within 20 minutes. Don't say that. You're saying this is f***ing blagging, instantly. man. Right, f***ing the cat. Before you've sent the cat picture there, <laughs> Kurt in the office has already got the price out. Because <laughs> he's just like in tune with Palladium. Dumb. What did I say it was called last episode? Iridium. Iridium. Doesn't even exist. That's how much we've evolved in a year. But now the UK's sole biggest catalytic converter buyers and recyclers with their own plants in Thailand that turn out anyway, anyway, and anyway. now platinum Rolexes. Anyway, let's show you where to bring it when you bring it to the yard. Come on. That's it. I'm actually going to do something to me. I can't trust you. Oh, hang on. If you're going to post the cat, you need the address. We are HW Trony Metals, 65 Cheston Road, Aston, Birmingham. Bravo 7 5 Echo Alpha. You can post your cats here, they'll be delivered directly to me and I'll pass them through. Here he is, number one skip driver. Oh. Come on, out of the way, I'm trying to film. Do you want me to be on your truck? Out of the way, William, I'm trying to film. Get some skips done. Post your cats directly to me, I'll pass it to the cat department and we will have your price and figures back to you almost instantly. What a kid, man. If you are delivering the cat yourself, if you drive into the yard, go across our two brand new calibrated Weybridges, take a left and you'll see in the back corner of the yard our new, highly technical, immaculate, pristine, top spec cat department in the world called El Cato de Pato. Once you've driven over the Weybridges, do a left at the end of the building and at the back of the yard you'll see our cat department. You can't miss it, there's a massive yellow sign. When you get to the cat department you can go inside and see our buyers, Kurt and Matt. They will look after you and give you the best price for your cats on that day. We've got the most up-to-date apps we sell to many, many different foundries and people so we can guarantee you get the best price for your cat and an honest price as well. There's a lot of firms out there inflating or under-inflating cats and then they're working off averages and things, it's a load of bollocks. We just want to give you an honest price, a fair price, the best that we can do. All of our customers leave a happy every single time. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, how to stop your cassettes converter getting stolen off your car for under £10. Follow me. So here we have it, the world's cheapest cat protection system. Come on, show us then. How are you going to protect this cat? Right then, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Pad, show us the ways. <laughs> nice and careful, Pad.
listen to the noise it's making now. You see the, you see the sign and the alarm goes off, you're out of bed with your spade. As some, as some geezers cutting off, you f***ing... Like that. Did you pick the alarm? Yeah. Is it a cat alarm? Yeah. F***ing you know, ice gold You know what I mean? F***ing good. No idea. Well, with that and Harry's bright ideas, we'll see you on the next episode. Well, on a serious note, to wear catting, we have to have proof of ID, which will be a valid driving licence, a passport and a utility bill less than three months old, bank, uh, bank account details for instant payment, but we also need the log books of any cars you're bringing in, really. So if it's done correctly, we can stop theft of cats, which is obviously going through, our, going through our area and giving us all a bad name in the scrap trade. And here at HB Training Metals, that's our aim, is to help curb that and stop that completely. Yes, most definitely. For any cats, get them down. Best prices. New used or stolen, just get them down here. I can't say that. Actually, that. <laughs> On that note, don't forget like, share and subscribe and we will see you in the next episode. Wonderful, Will, thank you. I really enjoyed it. So, how do the fumes... Why are you just holding it in front of the camera so everyone can see what you're actually trying to do? <laughs> You can't stand there, somebody were! So the same way a crunchy chocolate bar has holes in it and bubbles so that when your tongue hits it... Well, stop talking rubbish. These people want facts. Proper facts. That's what I'm to say. Since the last video, cat theft in the West Midlands has gone down by 36%. Hasn't it? Did the police yeah. It's just like, you know, yeah. the last time. <laughs> So, just like the cat honeycomb, a crunchy bar, when you bite into it, has lots and lots of surface okay, area due to all the well, bubbles. Stop. West Midlands Police, on the phone. Since our last video, cat theft has gone down by 36%. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. That's it. Oh, what the Halfords one on the fucking phone? Well, Halfords phone today. Why are you start again now? Why? It's going to be flowing, you want to just reel it off. Just like the honeycomb, aren't you, cats? A crunchy chocolate bar has lots of bubbles in it, so when it hits your tongue, okay, it's got more bye. surface well, area. Stop talking, rubbish, Harry. Westminster's police officer on the phone that says it's our last video. Cat theft has gone down by 36%. Wow, yeah. that is fantastic. That's, that's not the best factor at all. The price of carjacks at Halfords has now doubled because they're selling so many. <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> so they're making more money? Sorry. I <laughs> <laughs> Sense. I know, I know. <laughs> I got the first bit, all right, the second. Uh, that was flowing, that was really good, man. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's like the mild really You know, but your missus really gets it when you get into a flow, then it. it you know. <laughs> so you usually take three or four goes first, though. Five or six, man. <laughs> right, um. So. Oh, <laughs> um, remind me again. So, that's why I got it. <laughs> right. So, if you've got a cat, you want pricing or you're going to sell it? No, no, no. Right. So, where do you go when you've got a cat? Do you want me to start, Will? No, we just want to drink. Alright. Okay, you knew just went over. Hello. Right. <laughs> this not, is a you me, <laughs> these, these are TikToks in itself. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say hello. No. <laughs> sake, man. <laughs> Third attempt now, really. <laughs> oh, watch your shoulder. <laughs> what the f is he? Standing in front of what? Stand in front of the sign. Fuck, do I get down from here? Don't have a rocket, really, are I think. Huh? No, don't f about, man. You hurt yourself. Ooh. Sorry, Dad. Uh. You're right. Is that a cross? What does it spell? <laughs>